Yo guys, what's up? This is Tom from Unreal Meta and in this tutorial I will show you how to make lava in Unreal Engine. So let's start. To make this lava you need to start content. And first we right click and search for texture sample. And we got this. Now we go to none and search for fire. You see we have this fire tile texture here. Just import that. And next drag the pin from UV out and search for panner. This is basically what it says. This will give us the speed later and our material will move. And from coordinate we drag the pin out and search for texture coordinate. And let's set the speed of the X axis to 0 0.01. Now select the whole setup and press Ctrl W again and drag it over here and on the top texture sample we search for basalt now get this rock basalt normal texture when that is done we need the mathematical node that is the add node grab that this red channel goes into the A and this RGB channel goes into the B only the red channel goes into the add node now because this is a normal texture and the RGB from the normal texture goes into the normal. Now you can see how the normal map affects the material and it looks like cooled down lava. Now we right click and search for multiply and the pin from the add node goes into A and the RGB pin from the fire goes into B another time and this goes into emissive color now you can really see what's happening so we got our lava material basically set up but it's not glowing so we press one on the keyboard left click and convert this constant to a parameter another time and let's call this metallic this goes into the metallic duplicate it by pressing ctrl w and let's call this roughness I set the value of the roughness to 0 0.2 and of the metalness to 0 0.3. Now that this is done, we can bring even more glow. So we grab the multiply node, duplicate it, and this pin goes into A and this goes into the emissive color. Now we need another constant, press 1 and left click another time, convert it to a parameter and let's call this emissive strength. And this goes into the B of the multiply node. Let's give it a default value of 1. And with this setup we are basically ready to go so you can save your material. Now right click on your material and create a material instance. We can go into that and change some values here. So I want that the lava glows even much more so I set the emissive strength to 50. And you can see it is very bright, but it looks glowing like really hot lava. Let's say 35. And that looks better. And I will save this. Now I can grab my instance and apply to a mesh. And as you can see, we have really bright glowing lava that is moving. And I think this looks really good. This material will also be on my Patreon, so if you want to check it out, it is in the description. If you liked this tutorial, leave a thumbs up. If no, leave a thumbs down. I'll see you next time and bye.